Pass the control program and charging you to go on the game grip. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm Dawson and it's been a long time. Hello. Um, so I thought we'd get back into things. There's been a bit of a change. Um, it used to be called Uncle Interactive, which was like little bits and bobs. But now we've got a, a little group going on Facebook and we're progressing from there and a magazine uh, online as well called Cabal Email entertainment, music and gaming and this is going to be the YouTube channel for it so hopefully loads of things come in. So what I thought I'd do is to get back into the routine of making some videos and bits and bobs I am going to do a bit of a, a review um, playlist for you of games that I've got for the PlayStation 2 which I'm currently cataloguing on a little app I've got on my iPad and I thought well at the same time I might as well give the information to you and yeah, get back into the routine of things. So, sorry it's been so long. Um, it's great to see you. You're looking wonderful, wonderful. And we're going to start off with a PlayStation 2, uh, oh, a PlayStation 2 Classic. So, let me just show you the bits and bobs. There we go. And, oh, I have no idea what that is. There we go. And uh, I'm going to tell you about this and what I think of it. So, uh, Thanks for having me back. Here we go. It's a street racing game where you are put in the driver's seat of nine different vehicles with the option of racing 14 circuits. Every dance with death earns you more burn power that you can use to tear up the roads at turbo speeds. But be careful because smashing into traffic costs you lots of time. You will get bonus points for your near misses though, so trying to actually win a race while the city bustles around you is quite difficult. Your opponents could be a pack of ruthless computer drivers or you can turn up the aggression and battle against a friend in multiplayer races. Ramming them into walls, steering them into oncoming traffic, or causing multiple car pileups. That way they have to swerve around while you drive through Days of Thunder style. I absolutely love this game. It's the first of a series which I absolutely adore. Great graphics, plays very fast on the PlayStation 2. Music's wonderful, handles well, and um, I would recommend this to any, any people, uh, a collector of the PlayStation 2. IGN gave it an 8.6. Um, I'm a little bit higher than that, I suppose. My ratings, are, I go one to five. I would probably give it a 4.8 just for the playability. And there you have it, Burnout for the PlayStation 2. First game I thought I would pop into this little review section. Um, one of my favorites, still love playing it now and really enjoyed playing it earlier on to get you all the information and my thoughts on it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you check out all the links below for um, the Facebook group where you can come and have a chat with like-minded people about things like games, movies, and music and TV and things like that. And hopefully I'll be back again very soon for more videos for my retro replay where I catalog all my PS2 stuff. Thanks for watching, I've been Dawson and I will see you soon.